Urban Therapy with Sun Sun 752. This is your daily go get them. It's the number 344. For December 24th, I don't know, December 21st, 2015. Last day of Sagittarius. Bye bye, Sagittarius. Yo, we had a lot of fun while y'all was here, though. You know what I mean? Appreciate y'all half man, half horse, all the way crazy selves. Time for Capricorns to kick in tomorrow on the 22nd. And so, good love is love. All right. Goat fish. All right. So today, I want tonight, whatever. I want to talk to y'all about about basically receiving stolen property. But I don't want to put it that way. Is it wrong to accept or to buy buy presents from a booster for for Christmas? Is it wrong? Like, uh, if you don't know what a booster is, a booster is somebody who steals for a living. They they um they steal things from like department stores or whatever. Normally high-end stores, and they sell it to people for cheap. So, they were very, very useful back in the 80s, 70s, 80s, and, and 90s. You don't see them as much anymore. I don't know if it's because of the, the cameras that a lot of these places have, where they can catch those those um, folks who, who steal from businesses or whatever. But... You know, like uh, back in back in the day, they would say that, that those the goods that you buy from a booster are hot. Now, let's get into this a little bit. A lot of people think that it's wrong to buy stolen property from other people. You know, they you should pay. You should only buy stuff that's sold in stores. Now, I can understand the legal aspect of that, and there's also a moral aspect to it. Like people feel like if you buy something that's being sold legitimately then it makes you legitimate. You know, thou shalt not steal. So they feel like you're stealing by by a default or stealing by association if you purchase stolen goods from somebody else, even if it's really, really cheap. Now, a part of me agrees with that, but most of me doesn't. I'm just going to be honest with you. You know, um, if you steal something from a person, like, if you messing up the hood like that, you climbing in windows and breaking in people's houses and, and taking their stuff that they worked hard for and selling them to me or somebody else, I don't have no love for that. And I don't want, I don't want no, no part of that. However, corporate America? They insured. So they take losses. They're going to win in the end. They always win. The house always wins. So, I'm not going to say that I don't have any love for corporate America, but I don't. But I'm not going to tell you not to have any love for corporate America. That's what I'm going to do. Everybody has a right to make an honest buck out here. So, you can, I, I mean, you can argue that being a booster is dishonest. And it is. It's stealing. However, if I buy from you and, you, you know, you come through with, I don't know, some iPhones brand new in the box... And you selling me the new iPhone 6. I don't even like Apple products, but you selling me the new iPhone 6. Long. For like two, three hundred dollars. I'm buying that. Especially if it's legit. Now we know the way things go nowadays, it's hard to ever know what's legit anymore. But there was a time when you could trust this kind of stuff. And if you've ever seen a booster go to work, like seeing them actually steal the stuff in the stores, it's amazing. What an art. I mean, you know, they messed up in the head to whereas they feel like they have the, the right to steal stuff and all that. But you got to see them do it. It's, it's really something. I'm not a thief. I've never done, participated in anything like that. But I have bought some 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 hot items off of a boosters plenty of times back in the day. I mean, it can really help out like around Easter time, back to school. You know what I mean? You have multiple children. You might not be able to f afford going to the Old Navy or or, or uh, the children's place and all of that to get your get your uh, your kids stuff. It can get expensive even when it's on sale. And that candle sale beat the booster sale. And when they're really good at it, there was a time that they used to do it back to you know from door to door. Now, but it's Christmas time, so would it be right? If if a booster came through with some 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 I don't know some diamond earrings for your boo, real diamonds, not no slum gold 
not no um, cubic zirconia. Like you went and, and and checked it out, and you see that like this is the real deal. You ain't gonna purchase that. Three carats. Total weight. They they give them to you for like two hundred. You ain't no. It's a judgment call. It's a judgment call. It's, you know. And I can understand a person not wanting to participate in that, but hey, you know, when you you, you, when you what if you want to talk about morality, then it's probably better to talk about morality on a personal basis and not not uh not on the basis of an entire group of people. Because when you start talking about corporate America, you there's no way you could talk about morality. It's just no way. Very unscrupulous, not only business practices, but also unscrupulous personal business practices are often employed. They'll get that money any way they can. It's hard to become a billionaire being totally honest. Just be, just keep it 100. Think about it. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours. And remember, you know, if you, if you, if you want to buy off a booster, make sure that you buy off of a booster that has stolen their stuff out of stores that are making millions of money, uh, millions of dollars. Don't buy that stuff that somebody has stolen out of somebody's crib. Because that's like you stealing from somebody's crib. And that crib could be you. I have known instances where people was buying back their own shit. Didn't even know. It's real, man. It's real out here. Don't forget about the, the Urban Therapy with Sun Take the Fall event this Saturday, December 26th, 10 o'clock. Yo, we're going back out there in the woods. I hope it'd be cold, man. It'd be nice to you. I mean, be able to get that get that heat up in the cold. And, you know, give, give us that added motivation to push through them woods. It's going down 10 a.m., Rittenhouse Street and Wissahickon Avenue in Philadelphia. Make sure y'all come through. If you've ever seen the videos or, or known anybody that has gone on one of the Take the Fall events, y'all know it's the truth. And we need to change the name of the Take the Fall event because it's officially winter now. So maybe we can call it like the Take the Fall event in the winter. Take the fall in the winter. Take the fall and winter. But how do you take the take the winter? Anyway, it don't matter. Make sure y'all check that, that out this weekend. I'm going to holler at y'all. I'm not going to do a song for y'all tonight. Because, uh, you know, YouTube is mad at me again. I mean, they'll let me do it. But it's like, when, when you get that email saying, oh, your video has been blocked in all these countries. It's like a downer. So, I figured, like I said, I'm still figuring this thing out. And I thought I had it. But I got to go back to the lab. I'll holler at y'all later, though. Y'all have a good night. Peace. You know what I mean? Take the fall event this Saturday, December 26th. Make sure y'all come through. Have a Merry Christmas.